Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm pretty sure I have the most exciting video that I have ever made in my entire YouTube career. Just kidding. We're just doing mud flaps. That's all we're doing. It's gonna be kind of boring, but if you wanna know how to install mud flaps and afford lightning, stay tuned. That's right, we're doing mud flaps. So the truck is a truck, so it tends to get a little dirty <laughs> sometimes. So I thought a cool accessory would be mud flaps. I did actually buy a set of normal Ford F-150 mud flaps, and to my surprise, they didn't fit. They weren't right. I thought all of the body panels and everything was the same as the other normal Ford F-150s, but not for mud flaps. So I had to return those and I ordered a set of Ford specific lightning mud flaps. They actually say lightning on them and everything. They look good. So we're gonna get those on here, but first I'm gonna give the truck a little bit of a wash just to clean off any dirt so I don't cover up dirt with a mud flap. <laughs> So it comes with a little set of screws, mount them. And these are probably the fronts because I think the rears actually say lightning. So some bars must be to make them a little stronger, more mounting bolts. Yeah, and that has to be the rear. That actually says lightning right on there. They are very flexible. I think that'll be perfect. All right, I'm starting over on this side because it's in the shade and it's slightly cooler. So I just used a panel popper tool to take off three plastic panel pieces. So I popped those off and I just slid them back in, but it comes with a bunch of metal clips. so. I guess I'm supposed to, oh yeah, there's no instructions, <laughs> none. I looked through the box, ever, all the packaging, there's no instructions. And I've never installed these before, but yeah. So I guess I am supposed to use these metal clips maybe instead of these plastic pieces, which makes sense as they're probably stronger than the plastic. And then I'll have to figure out those brackets. But let me pull these back out and replace them with the metal brackets. All right, so what I just did is I took this metal piece and slipped it between the plastic and the metal. And now I have a little screw hole. So I will take one of these screws that it came with and try to get it through there and I'll tighten it down. There we go. That'll definitely be stronger than the plastic pieces. It's kind of weird, it has these tabs on it. I really don't know. Oh, are they supposed to fold over? Oh, I think they're supposed to fold over. And then, does this go over? Yeah, okay, cool. Man, these really should have instructions, but we're doing okay. So push that over, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna replace those. that already seems pretty strong but this metal bracket is actually supposed to get attached to over here not sure how but we'll check that out next well I've tried both brackets a few different ways they're both bent slightly different and this is the way that makes the most sense so there's a hole up there so that side will go there and this one will go right here so I already added one of these metal pieces, these metal clips, 
I had to take out a black plastic thing just like those and put the clip on. So I'll have to add a clip over here. And then that looks like it'll be the support bar for the backside of this mud flap. All right, not bad. Seems strong, seems good. And I guess that's how you install them. So now I'm gonna go on the other side and do the other ones. Oh, it's so sunny over here. Ah, that's hot, hot, holy cow. So you can tell these are actually a little different. So there were two of these and that's the one that gets attached to the bracket. So there's two of those and a whole bunch of these. So I think six, seven, eight, there's like eight of these. And the clips, we just take these metal clips, fold that piece over, and voila. Now time to crawl underneath. Now I'm gonna be working on the front right here. So far, it's all been pretty easy, but again, it doesn't come with any instructions, and I have never done this before, but we're figuring it out, okay? so. This is a seven millimeter. And we're just taking out these existing screws. And then we'll be installing this one. You don't have to take off this piece of plastic, which I'm surprised. So there's that. All right, so those screws are on. And then just like the rear, you take these little tabs, fold them over, so it just sandwiches the metal here. And you take these clips, and you sandwich it all together. Well, I got them all done, and then it realized my cameras had shut off. It's hot down here in Tennessee. Today is something like 92 degrees, and we're in the full sun while doing this. And it's something I'll have to plan for, I guess, in the future if my cameras are gonna shut off and just a little bit of heat. But all four of them are done. I don't know what I have on film, so I'm gonna do a quick recap with my cell phone, which also had to cool down. I had to take that inside, put it in front of a fan. So I'm gonna use the cell phone to go around and just kind of show you guys a little recap of what I did. Hopefully I got out of the footage, but I'll find out later. And here's the recap. We're here at the driver's side front so you just unscrew those two screws right there. Uh, they're number seven. Once those are out, you just put the new mud flap in place, screw them back in, and then up here you fold over this piece of plastic so it's basically sandwiching the metal there, and then you slide on these brass colored tabs. That's it, very easy, front is done. Then I'll show you the rear. Now these three screws were only plastic tabs. So you remove the plastic tabs, install the metal clip, and then you install the new screws that it comes with. And then the same thing over here, you fold over this plastic tab and sandwich the metal, and then you put the brass piece on. You can see the bracket right there, and the bracket goes right up there. You also got a little shot of my high voltage wires for the T-Rex under there. That's it, hope that helped. Well, I have no doubt that that was probably the most exciting video you watched today. <laughs> Just, uh, anyways, hit that like, subscribe, feel free to comment, share, all that typical YouTube stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed the mud flaps. I hope you guys enjoyed the how-to tutorial, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.